Greetings, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today we're going to do something should be a little bit fun on the Kamado Joe Classic. We are going to cook a cast iron pan chocolate chip cookie. So let's get started. Okay, first thing I'm going to do here is we're going to light up one of our Kamado Joe fire starter cubes right in the center of our charcoal and I'm going to let this burn with the lid open for 10 minutes. After our fire gets going, I'm going to set my accessory rack in the lower position. If you're not using the accessory rack, you can just go to the very bottom position and I'm going to set each of my half moon heat deflectors right in the middle on top of the accessory rack and then I'm going to set each of my half moon grill grates right on top. We're going to be cooking at a temperature of 350 degrees today so I'm going to start out with my bottom vent halfway open and then I'm going to open the daisy wheel fully and I'm going to slide it almost all the way closed with a little crack in the back and we're going to let this guy come up to 350 and if I need to adjust the temperature I'll adjust it with the top vent only and leave the bottom vent where it is. Okay while our grills warming up we're gonna make our cookie dough. In my mixing bowl I've got two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda and one half teaspoon of salt and I'm just gonna give that a good whisk to get that mixed up. In my mixing bowl I'm gonna add one and a half sticks of unsalted butter and that comes out to 12 tablespoons one half cup of white sugar and three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar and we're gonna mix that together until that creams together nicely. Okay after we have that cream together we're gonna add one egg and two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract and continue mixing until we have that incorporated. Okay after we have that mixed in we're gonna start adding our flour mixture and we're just going to add that one spoonful at a time until we get it all incorporated. And once we have all that incorporated I'm going to add a cup and a half of chocolate chunks. You can use chocolate chips if you like but these are uh, semi-sweet chocolate. We're just going to add that in and mix it just for a moment until it's mixed in completely. Okay, to get this cookie ready to go, I'm going to take a 10 inch cast iron pan and I'm going to hit it with a little bit of cooking spray and then we're going to move our cookie dough from our mixing bowl into the pan. And then I'm just going to press this in. We're going to spread it out evenly. Okay, that bad boy is ready to go. I'll meet you at the grill. Okay, our Kamado Joe Classic's cruising along here at 350, so I'm going to open the lid. We're going to set this pan right in there as close to the middle as we can without hitting the handle. And we're going to close the lid and we're going to cook this guy for about 40 to 45 minutes. And then we'll come back and have a look. Okay, we've been going here for right at 45 minutes. And I think we're looking good. You want this thing to be browned up around the edges and starting to turn golden on top, which we are. So we're going to take this off the grill and set it on a wire rack and let it cool for about 20 minutes. Okay, I've let this cool in the pan for 20 to 25 minutes and I've sliced off a wedge of it. And I wish you could smell this. It smells outstanding. This uh, could be a base. You know, you could put a scoop of ice cream on top of this and serve this as a dessert. So let's give it a taste. Well, I can't wait to give this a try. I'm just going to tear a little piece off of here. As you can see, it's cooked perfectly. It's browned on the bottom. It's not burned. So let's have a bite of that. Mmm. Wow. Man, that's awesome. It's a really interesting way to try something that you'd normally cook in your oven. Take it outside, cook it on the grill. This has a beautiful flavor. It's a fantastic chocolate chip cookie recipe. You could also do it in the oven, but we don't cook in the oven. We cook on the Kamado Joe. So until next time, 
This is John Setzler with Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.